Um, and in, for those that are viewing, that blue line represents the peak yields. For those just listening, September 81 was the peak yield environment. So the interest rates were the highest. If you're buying a home, you would have been paying um, quite a high amount, uh, verging on history, I would say, uh, for your mortgage payment. Since then, we've gone down, down, down. It's kind of like the gold-silver ratio, many of you will know. We want the gold-silver ratio to go down. What are bonds? Basically, it's debt. What is our monetary system? It's a debt-based system. Every time you create money, you're creating a debt. It's, think of it as sort of T-ledger accounting in a simplest sense. One person's liability is another person's asset. We create the money, it gets loaned out. It's a loan. This pandemic event of March 2020 was a bookmarking event. It was a bookmarking event for debt. It was the final flurry and it was a bookmarking event for the final capitulation in silver. I believe silver fell uh, to 11. We'll run past the silver chart um, in a bit, um, but there'll be guys of you uh, mumbling and shouting at the radio. Yeah, it was 11. Um, it did trade low at one's points, but it, what happens is we're all Currencies are like national people that have jumped out of the airplane and are free falling. Okay, well let me let me let me kind of walk you through this. All right, if okay. enough of the banks went belly up that they drained the FDIC fund, and mm -hmm. even beyond that, the government chose not to prop up the remaining banks after the FDIC fund was there because the government was in trouble. Long before that all happened, your 401k would have been worth almost nothing. Because if all okay. of the banking system in America has collapsed, most of the companies you've invested in in the 401k would have collapsed. And so we're talking about an apocalyptic situation before you'd lose your emergency fund in the bank. It's insured for up to $250,000. So I feel real safe right. in an FDIC or um, bank or if you're with a credit union insured by the NCUA, uh, same situation, but for credit unions, I feel very safe. I've got my personal money in a bank. What's the way the economy's going? It's booming. Explain. <laughs> it's booming. It's booming. Okay. It's recovered. Uh, the unemployment rate is back down after COVID. It's not all the way down, but it's, uh, right. you know, we had 40 million people unemployed after the pandemic. But it's gone back. You're in Utah. Is Ogden, Utah economy not working? Uh, is Ogden, Utah economy not working? I would have thought it was doing well. It's doing all right. I mean, it's not stellar, but it's going to be a slow process for a lot of people to come back, and a lot of people are hurting. Okay. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Recha Ha Kodash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elder bishops of Great Millstone. I also want to give a sincere shout out to you other elders, you Akim, you brethren, you followers of the truth. And let me say shout out to the elect. Okay, I want to go on this video. Um, just I ran across a few articles yesterday. I'm not even going to go into them, but um, dealing with the stimulus, how they uh, throw any stimulus checks out. And um, without it, without with ease, right? And we know nothing's really for free. But this is supposed supposedly supposed to stimulate the economy. And my take on this whole uh, the the um, the debt bubble, <laughs> everything. This has all been set, right? And um, I believe it's all fraud anyway. If you ask me, through the spirit. There, there, you know, you always need a reason to do things. And I'm just going to try to keep it straight. I'm looking at the dead clock. Because you got to look at it. When the money, when they start backing this uh, this uh, monopoly money off of gold. And it starts building interest. And then you start printing and printing and printing. Now you went from printing to digital currency. The difference between $10 and $100 is a zero and then a thousand dollars zero zero so forth so when you start creating money out of thin air and it's thrown up and thrown out there and it's direct deposited into your account who do you trust 
on how this money is being deposited, where it's coming from, and the value of it. That's the problem. And in the light of the situation that's happening now, and what everybody, they're pushing everybody to do, and everybody know what that is, this is the next thing left. If you crash it, you do a reset, then we come out, you come out with what we speak of is the mark of the beast. And it all makes sense. It's all lining up. Because everybody that got this thing or this uh, accepted it, it's going to work in league. It all makes sense. I had a homeless guy tell me when we was at camp, this is what they're doing it for, to get ready for this. I mean, people know. This is why this thing you're lining up for is going to work with the mark of the beast. The conductivity. The 5G. It's all lining up. It's all making sense. So anyway, um, you look at the debt. 85 trillion okay and as I'm speaking it's running this thing never stops this clock just doesn't stop this is the US total debt right federal budget deficit 3 trillion US spending 6 who manages these clocks man US total interest 3 trillion um, credit card debt. <laughs> this is why they're throwing it out there at you. They're giving you credit cards. It's easy. If you notice, and I know about credit a little bit. My credit is pretty good. And I, I know how it manages. But they're throwing people good credit. Right? They're throwing things out there. They at, at this time, they're giving you, you know, they're just putting everything out there. They're throwing these checks out. Lining you up. And you know they always got to have an opposition to make it seem like it's tough to line up for that thing that they're giving. To say, well, we don't have enough. We don't have enough. They have plenty. But they know people need to fight for what they want. But this is all linking. You know? This is all linking. This is what I see. Babylon cannot be healed. But they, there's a bigger agenda. And these elites know it. They know what's going on. A lot of you, Jake, don't have a clue what the hell is happening. You don't have a clue. You taking money from gold and silver, precious metals, then you make it paper, then you take it from paper, and then you make it digital. First Timothy 6 and 17, charge them that are rich in this world. This is why we do these videos. That they be not high-minded, nor trust in uncertain riches, but the living power, Yahweh, who giveth Richly all things to enjoy. The Lord is going to provide for us, man. The Lord is going to provide. We ought to worry about that on a high levels. Let the Lord work. And, uh, and we continue to be watchmen for what we see. Right? 85 trillion. And then they talk about the credit card debt. You get a little bit of debt. Even on your credit card, they will penalize you and say you're late, right? And drop you 20 points because of a late um, fee. I mean, because of being late and not timely with your credit card payment. Meanwhile, they're not paying their debt. <laughs> if they were, if if this place was paying his debt, you wouldn't have a 21 trillion dollar personal debt. And you wouldn't have an 85 U.S. total debt, 85 trillion total debt. After 80 uh, trillion, is, I believe it's quadrillion. How much longer do you think this is going to go? This is the U.S. debt clock. I remember maybe a year ago, it might have been, the total personal debt might have been 18 trillion. Somewhere around there, not too long ago. And the U.S. total debt was maybe 50 trillion. It's now 85. And when they throw these stimulus checks out there and there's extra unemployment, 
and all these grants and these programs to stimulate the economy. When you stimulate something, you give up something. You sacrifice. So they're in the trick bag. Okay, Jeremiah 51 and 9. We would have healed Babylon, but she is not healed. Forsake her. Let us go every one into his own country. For a judgment reacheth unto heavens, and have lifted up even to the skies. Right? So, these elites, these top people, these bankers, they know what's up, man. They know exactly what they're going to do. I mean, it, it's always been rumored to do certain things. But it's only a matter of time. You know, a lot of people... Uh, in, in gross darkness, they are asleep. They don't believe. Uh, this one guy, the last part of the intro I put in, uh, the lady asked a question. He said, oh, we're in great shape. The economy is doing great. And the first thing I would have asked this man, did you see the U.S. debt clock? <laughs> That's the first thing. I, I said, what do you mean the economy is in great shape? The economy hasn't been in great shape for a very long time. But I guess you got to go into the ghettos and the communities where the drug infested uh, rats and roaches are at to understand that. People that are living good would never say that because of that pride. You know? U.S. domestic product, 21 trillion. I'm just looking at all the. I always look at this debt clock and just see. I remember one time we had camp. And uh, after, by the time we finished camp, the debt had rose like almost a million dollars <laughs> or hundreds of thousands of dollars or something like that so as you see this clock don't stop so this lady asked the question what happens when the banks shut down and what happens and you lose it all and that's when all hell's going to break loose you know uh, when you read the book of Matthew he said he's you know Yahushad said that you know, the most high promise that's going to happen. A time like not seen by man. So, these are the beginning of sorrows, man. You're seeing a lot of things get ready to start happening. Anyway, I just wanted to make this short video and, and, and touch on this a little bit. Babylon, they, they're trying to heal it with these stimuluses and trying to keep it going. But it can't be healed. That's all I have on that, Shalom.